Is it time? Is it time? Indeed, I believe it is time. Hey, what's happening all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon. And welcome back to another episode of the Gaming News, where I run down the list of all the gaming news, facts, trivia, and rumors coming out of the gaming industry this week. We only have a few today, but that's okay. Some good stuff, and some stuff that may prevent you from buying something that maybe you're not really going to be into. Or in a game that, spe that was specifically for one console that went to another. Now, let's hop right the hell in. Because that intro was absolutely stupid. Okay, first up. We have something on the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, the Nintendo Switch Lite was released, I believe, a year after the Nintendo Switch. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, but... It has quickly become something of a meme, because, let's face it, if you're going to get a Nintendo Switch Lite, then you just might as well get a Nintendo Switch. Seriously. <laughs> but this is um, an article that came from SlashGear.com, and it was written by Brittany A. Rostin. And it goes as, quote, I regret buying the... The Switch Lite, and you probably will too. It says, I'm a Nintendo Switch Lite owner, and I have buyer's remorse. It's not that the Switch isn't a great console, because it it absolutely is. In fact, the console is so much better than I had anticipated that I, I can't ignore everything I'm missing out on. I love the Switch, but I regret buying the Lite, and you probably will too. My reasons for picking up the Switch are simple. I got nostalgic for my old N N SNES titles. Felt like playing Yoshi's Island and impulsively went to GameStop to grab a console. I wasn't dead set on getting the original Switch model. My plans for the gadget were simple. I hadn't owned a, a portable console since the near ancient Sega Game Gear. Wow, that was, that. Just hearing the name Game Gear just just tells you how old that, that actually is. And my God, yeah, that that is old. If if you had a Game Gear, then jeez, man. I, I'm, I'm as old as the Game Boy, but... Uh. And the idea of being able to carry around high-quality games in my pocket was appealing. GameStop only had the Switch Lite in stock, and I didn't feel like driving across town in search of its larger sibling. So the choice was quickly made and soon lamented. I love the Switch Lite, and don't get me wrong. I still, lo I still love it, but, but in retrospect, I wish I had bought the main console for the extra features it offers. The ones I didn't expect to want, but that I now desperately need. The removable Joy-Cons were great, but even better is the ability to play your games on the big screen. Two features the light totally lacks. There are some other good reasons to pick up the Switch rather than the Switch Lite. It has a larger 6.2 display rather than the smaller 5.5 offering. For example, the Switch Lite can only play games that support handheld mode without requiring the user to wirelessly connect a separate controller. As well, the Switch has an IR motion camera and AC rumble, whereas the Lite does not. The only advantage you get with the Lite compared to the Switch is the lower price, but at only $100 cheaper, you're not saving much compared to the features you'll miss out on. The larger display on the Switch is easier on the eyes and while playing certain games, but the ability to rapidly toggle from handheld to TV gameplay is where the magic happens. Some games run perfectly on the Switch, but are too, visi too visually complicated to play on the small screen. But, sorry, not but. <laughs> the small details are lost in the chaos, and it gets frustrating trying to crack and keep track of everything. That's not a big deal for Switch owners, of course, as they can drop the console into its dock and fire up the game on the big screen. But try to play Doom on the light and you'll soon rage quit. The other key loss is the ability to play play with other people, something I didn't anticipate wanting to do initially. I have a PS5, lucky. After all, and that could fit fit the bill. But whereas the PS5 is massive, the Switch is incredibly portable, and there's something special about being um, being able to bring a small device with you, then fire it up on the big screen for an impromptu round of, of Super Smash Brothers. The simple fact is the original Nintendo Switch can do everything the light can, but the light is stripped down in stripped down compromise to save hundred of hundred dollars. The savings aren't worth it in the long run. If you own a Switch, you're already prepared to spend generously on games. And saving the extra money by going for the light instead 
Well, the original console seems to make less sense the, the first time you drop the $50 on a single game. I still own the Switch Lite, and I, and I still love it, but every time my eyes feel strained and I long, I long to see Stardew Valley in the big 60-inch TV, I'm reminded of the fact that saving $100 wasn't worth it. I'll eventually swap the Lite for the original Switch and regret nothing. And to be honest, yeah... I kind of get it. To be honest, I was actually thinking about getting myself a Switch. But first, I'm getting myself a PlayStation 5 at some point. And to be honest, screw you scalpers. Again, for you having to have to buy 10 of them and keeping away from other consumers and trying to profit off them. So go screw yourselves. But at some point, I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to be a proud owner of a Switch as well. And, yeah, I'm going to be late to the party because a lot of people have Switches. But you want to know something? Um, I'm, I'm normally late to the party. But I'm, I'm glad I read that because, to be honest, at one point I I was actually considering buying a Switch Lite. And, to be honest, if that's kind of what it is and just saving $100 is, you know, worth, not worth it in the long run. To, but, and, to be honest, I think that, that that's a fair compromise. The massive amount of strain that your eyes take by watching a handheld console, it does take a lot out of you. And believe me, it really does. Owning a regular Game Boy before, it does take a lot out of your eyes trying to figure out, like, how long your PlayStation is going to last while your eyes are still working and whether you're going to need glasses by the end of your session. So, yeah, I think that is... That's fair enough. That is absolutely fair enough. So, um, Brittany, your name was, uh, I think you just saved me a little bit of money on getting the Switch version, well, the light version of the Switch. And I'd, ra and I'd rather pick up a regular Switch rather than the light version. So, I appreciate it. So, at least you helped somebody from your article, and if, and I hope that me reading her article to you uh, maybe helped you make a decision on whether you're going to get a Switch or a Switch Lite. So, Maybe I helped someone in the long run. But anyway, from one console to another. Yes, today, actually, there is no PlayStation 5 news. I, I needed to do one at least once. I, I've been covering the PlayStation 5 for so long, if my mind is, go is just going PlayStation 5 every time that I think about a PlayStation and I touch my freaking console. So, anyway... This is from comicbook.com, and this was written by Tyler Fisher. We, we read a lot of his stuff on here, don't we? And he, he writes, Former PS4 exclusive coming to Xbox Series X. So, if, for all you Xbox Series X lovers and Xbox Series X owners, keep your air out. It says, a former PS4 exclusive is coming to Xbox Series X early next year. When the Xbox Series X launched last month, it did so with more power and goodwill than the PlayStation 5. It really did. But this was undermined by a lack of compelling games, especially of the exclusive variety. Yeah, it really did. Xbox Game Studios is still working on addressing the latter. But in the meantime, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S gamers do have a new game to look forward to. One that was exclusive to PS4 at one point. Publisher Merge Games and developer Infuse Studios has announced the Spirit of the North Enhanced Edition is coming to Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S sometime in early 2021. When exactly during the first part of 2021 isn't divulged. But the pair do note the game will only be available digitally. So if you have a if you have a digital version, well, if you guys have want the digital version, then if you guys are fans of Spirit of the North, then you should be able to get it. Spirit of the North debuted back in November 2019 via the PS4 and PS4 only. Then in May 2020, the game came to the Nintendo Switch and PC. This was followed up by the release of the Enhanced Edition on November 26. Right now, this version is only playable on PS5. But that will change sometime in early 2021. Spirit of the North is a, sing is a single player, third person adventure game inspired by the breathtaking and mysterious landscapes of Iceland. Reads an official elevator pitch of the game. Play as an ordinary red fox whose story becomes entwined with the guardian of the Northern Lights, a female spirit fox. That actually does not seem that bad. At the moment of publishing, pricing information has not been divulged, but the game costs $20 on the PS5, so it's safe to assume it will cost $20 on the Xbox Series X as well. 
Interestingly, the game is available at retail on PS5, but as noted, there's no word of a physical edition of, on the Xbox Series X. And to be honest, that actually sounds really freaking good. So if you guys want to play a new game on the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, but it's only going to be digital for now, um, there is no talks of a physical copy just yet. But the game will be called Spirit of the North. So if you guys want to play a really cool title, then I guess that's it. That actually sounds pretty good. A a fox, a red fox uh, being in, intertwined with the Spirit of the Northern Lights. Uh, actually, that sounds like... Uh, um, they. That sounds kind of reminiscent of Okami, doesn't it? Okami, Okami. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. I never did. But that was art right there. But... Anyway, uh, that is something to look out for. So if you guys want to play a new game sometime in early 2021, we're not very sure when, but it's something, then I suggest you go check it out. In Spirit of the North, the game is called. So if you guys want to find a really cool immersive game, I guess that's something to that look forward to. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's enough for today. Um, this week has just been a cluster of just, you know, everything. Christmas and everything with like that and to be honest I would have had a little bit more but to be honest I was focusing more on me getting my food for Christmas rather than me getting you know stuff ready for this and to be honest me and my family do need to eat because around this time normally me and my family have our stuff delivered and we've only been getting our stuff delivered because of the simple fact of COVID-19 is absolutely ridiculous and that um, a lot of us do have some problems that prevent us from going into certain stores. So to be honest, it's it's great that we do get some, um, you know, some deliveries and Walmart decided amongst itself to destroy our order. And actually the person who was supposed to originally take our order was, you know, canceled and we didn't even get our food that night. So, yeah. <laughs> so whoever was supposed to deliver my food, yeah, go, yeah, that, yeah, no, no. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, everything's going to be getting back on the track. I hope everyone has enjoyed their holiday. I hope everyone is has been safe. I hope everyone got what they wanted for Christmas. And let me know down in the comment section below, what did you get for Christmas? I want to hear what you got for Christmas. So let me know down in the comment section below. I cannot wait to hear it. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we do have to end today. Uh, next time you guys see me, we'll be doing course eight of Kirby's Dream Course. We're going to be, you know, completing it to, into the end. And then we're going to have a, a new game to go up. So... I cannot wait to see what what we have in store. So, until then, ladies and gentlemen, um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see some more stuff from me, come to my channel. It will be the link in, down in the description down below with all of our lovely and beautiful creators. Go check them all out. But if you guys want to see specifically stuff from me, then come to my channel while I'm going down the list for stuff like uh, Super Mario World, the original Super Mario World. And I'm playing One Piece Grand Adventure alongside of Dragon Age Inquisition. We're going to be playing Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the, the Misadventures, on uh, Fridays starting this week. So go check that out. And every morning I'm lately I've been playing uh, Fairly Off Parents Shadow Showdown, which will be normally Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I played it this morning, so if you guys want to check out the most recent episode, it'll be it'll, it's already up, and you guys can come check that out. And that's been some of my most favorite uh, videos to make. So come and check it out. I, it's going to be a doozy. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed, but it's time for us to end off. But good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you Dragon Links back inside the world of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Damien Dragon action. Peace.